Hey guys, I've got a neat little um, topic. It is a continuation of videos that I've made recently, but I've gotten some really interesting information in the last two days, specifically concerning the LS Series GM crankshafts. Okay, everyone should be familiar. If not, please watch the videos on my channel where we talk, where I talk about trying to put Gen 4 pistons and rods on a Gen 3 crankshaft in order to build a stronger engine. I addressed the issue of the piston and rod assemblies across the board. Well, four, we'll, we'll say 4, 8, and 5, 3s for sure have a 38, 38 plus gram uh, discrepancy. In other words, the piston and rod is 38 grams heavier on the Gen 4 setup than the what the Gen 3 crank is. But my video today, I want to present this question to you. Did General Motors balance their crankshafts per cubic inch displacement? Okay, so with all this hoopla going on, trying to validate, you know, can I run Gen 4 uh, pistons and rods on my Gen 3 crank to build a stronger combo, put down more horsepower, you know, reliably? Here's the huge discrepancy I'm coming across. And so far, combining internet research, phone calls to machine shops, phone calls to parts uh, remanufacturers, what I call uh, bulk engine rebuilders that sell this, those crate engines that you can buy from your parts stores and whatever. Here's the scary thought. Because GM used the same crankshaft casting number between the 5.3, the 5.7, and the 6 liter, it literally is scary to think that General Motors didn't balance those assemblies per cubic inch displacement. Like, okay, I had a 30 minute phone call this morning with my machine shop. I said, listen, I am having a huge amount of problem. I'm having a lot of trouble, huge problem. I can't find any documentation, no validation on the internet, in books, anywhere how to tell if I have a six liter crankshaft. And he's like, oh, he said, let me look in my books. He said, you know, it should be outlined in my, you know, cause he has all kinds of reference manuals for his machine shop. And uh, he said, oh, I'll look it up in my, I'll look it up in my books. Long story short, there is nothing. There is nothing. Like if, uh, like he, the way he explained it to me was, the five three five seven and six liters all have the same casting number. They have the identifier of the crank is exactly the same across the board. I gave him a little piece of information that he wasn't even aware of that to visually identify an actual LS one uh, five seven crankshaft, which by me no coincidence has that same stupid part number as the five three and the six liters. But the crankshaft throws are, are drilled hollow. They are gun drilled and, ha and have a hollow spot in the middle of it that goes all the way through both sides of it. So he was really thankful that I brought that piece of information up, which I found on the internet, researching the LS1 guys, because they also had questions. How do you identify which crankshaft you get? Because they were looking at, you know, possibly rebuilding their 5.7s with a different crank and it's it's mind-boggling to me that GM has created this fiasco and not given any literature no identifying marks no numbers no letters nothing that you can look at on that crankshaft will tell you what engine it came from oops somebody's in trouble so 
but the way the machine shop explained it to me, he goes, if you brought me a, a, a batch of crankshafts from different engines, if they all have that same part number on the crankshaft, there's no way he would know what engine it came from. Now keep you know, just think about that just in a in a sense in a sense that when you take your crank to a machine shop, and I'm gonna hope everyone who takes their parts into a machine shop stamps them or marks them in some way to guarantee you get your part back. Because I'm telling you right now, when you got a crankshaft and they line up a whole bunch of crankshafts over in the waiting to get worked on area. It wouldn't be that hard, especially when you got three different cubic inch displacement cranks with the same stupid part number on it, to not get your crank back. I mean, that's just, that's a given. That's, re that's reality right there. But, moving on. So I had presented to him my theory, or my thought, my understanding. If General Motors balance their crankshafts in the LS engines per cubic inch displacement, the 6 liter, follow me on this, the 6 liter piston and pin is 40 grams heavier than the 5.3. Okay, we're talking about Gen 3, 5.3 and 6 liter, 5.3 and 6 liter piston and pin combos. The 6 liter is 40 grams heavier than the 5.3. So what does that mean? What's the significance of such an idea? Well, if, and, that's, and at this point, I'm believing it's not even possible, if General Motors balanced that crankshaft to match that bob weight of that 6 liter, you could run a Gen 4 fat rod and full floating piston on a Gen 3 crankshaft and it would be balanced. It would literally be within 2 grams balanced. Okay? So all that uh, controversy of being overbalanced, out of balance, whatever, trying to run a Gen 4 piston and rod on a Gen 3 crank would be negated if the Gen 3 6 liter crank was actually balanced to its bob weight. Well, at this point, we're all pulling our hair out because I picked up a crankshaft last night, which I don't think I'm going to be able to use because I think it needs to be turned. And by the time you turn a crank, you might as well just buy a, a different one because it's $155 to do that. But, different story. What we were, what we were just brainstorming, let's just say, the machinist and I over that 30 minute call, we were just trying to understand, well, okay, GM apparently is not known for being very accurate on their engine balancing in the first place. So here's, here's a scenario that we threw out. What if, as a bean counter cut cost game plan, what if General Motors had all had these cast these okay we're gonna make this crankshaft it's going to have the same stroke the strength same journal sizes all exterior dimensions are the same between the 5.3 the 5.7 and the 6 liter here's what we're gonna do to save money the 5.7 is a performance engine okay now keep that in mind the LS1 5.7 was always intended to be a performance engine for one of their performance sports cars. What if the bean counters said, or the engineers, we'll just put it on the engineers because I'm sure they got involved at some point. What if we took those castings and we balanced all of them straight across the board for the five sevens? Regardless if it's going in a five seven or not, they don't care but what if they took that same casting number crank, balanced it to the bob weight of the 5.7, which would make it the most uh, efficiently balanced for their performance application. 5.3 would be slightly off balance. 
six liter would be slightly off balance but because the five three and the six liters are considered low rpm truck engines they're less less susceptible to the damaging harmonics of an out of out of balance situation that truly made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up because it made too much sense I am not saying that's what they did yet. I'm not calling anybody out yet because I still have full intentions on getting a Gen 3 53 crankshaft, 24 tooth reluctor, weighing it and comparing it to the weight of the Gen 3 6 liter cranks. Because there both those 6 liter cranks I did in my last video weighed let's see one was 50 or on one set of scales it was 53.6 pounds both on the other one it was 52.8 pounds both so that shows both those crankshafts weigh the same now that we know that whatever your out of balance situation is on your piston and rod assembly which will include your rings your all that junk but i'm just saying on the piston side of your balance Whatever you're out, whether you're a plus or a minus, half of that amount will either be added to or subtracted to the counterweight on the opposite side of that bob. Okay, so now that clarifies one of the questions I had in my last video on the crankshaft balancing. If you're out of weight on one side by, let's say, 40, just round it up, 40 grams, that means there's a 20 gram difference on the other side. What if you're only 20 gram, let's say 22 grams out of weight on your piston side, that's only 11 grams on the counterbalance side. So then when we harken back to what the machine shop said, well, we like to say, we, we, we like to maintain a plus or minus 10 gram variance in our rotating assemblies and if we exceed that variance we recommend to the customer that you need to rebalance your assembly okay is that on the piston side or is that on the the counter counterbalance side of the crankshaft because if it's 10 grams on the counterbalance side that means you can be up to 20 grams out of weight plus or minus on the piston and rod assembly See, that's a big gray area to me that needs to be clarified, and I hope to get that clarified soon. Which one are you guys talking about? Piston side or counterbalance side? Which one is the 10 gram variance? We need to verify 100% because also when we're looking at the weight of the cranks, if those cranks are balanced differently, then by, by all rights, that 5.3 crankshaft should weigh slightly less than the 6 liter crank. Think about that. If we're at 53.6 pounds, I would estimate that 5.3 crankshaft should weigh 53.3 pounds. Because if we're going to split the difference of our, of our overbalance, is what I'm calling it, where your piston and rod is heavier for a 6 liter, then the opposite side of that means half of the overbalance times eight, you're looking at about 0.3 pounds or half of 320 grams per crankshaft. So whatever half of 320 grams converted to pounds or ounces, that's how much lighter that stupid 5.3 crank should be. So. Anyway, I wanted to get some of this stuff out of my head and get it on video because I am literally just focused on this. Like, I want to know how I can build my next engine and make sure it's right. So that's the information I've found so far. So far, there's no way to tell which crank you have. The only thing that I can fathom in my brain is that hopefully that 5.3 crank weighs less than the 6 liter and proves one way or the other whether they balanced any of them. I don't know. Anyway, I will get back with you guys on this topic. Sorry for this video being kind of a weird angle sitting in the car, but please like, share, subscribe, get some information, hit those comments. Help me out, guys. Thanks.